All right, guys, we're back again with another video. Yes, another video. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking about, hey, Green Ranger, what can I get for $20? And I'm like, you know, that's a really good question. There's so many different ways you could spend $20 in AP. And, and that's a good amount for people getting started who just want to do a few little tags, get up, you know, not invest too much, I get it. So $20, great starting point. So what I did is I made a list. Check me out, the Drip Mop Mini, the Hit and Go 15 millimeter marker, the Ganko Streaker, the AP Press and Go, for a total of $14.46. With our standard $4.99 shipping brings you to a total of $19.45. Yes, $19.45. This is basically a streaker, an empty uh, pump action marker, a mop, and a metal tip marker. We got others in stock that are very similar, different combinations, but this is just happens to be one combination that I picked out for you to go riding. Now guess what? I got them in my fanny pack right now. Woo, you don't have a fanny pack, son? You better get one of these. These are the shit. All right, guys, I got my press and go right there. Check it out. It's filled with Garsh right now. I got Marsh and Garvey mixed together in this bad boy. So that should be a lot of fun. Of course, I got my hit and go. And this is filled with Molotov Speed Flow ink mixed with the covers all and a dash of Garvey in there. So this should be pretty brutal. And then I got some Garsh in an AP drip mop. There we go, not even used yet, brand new. And of course, I got one of my favorite little streakers we got in right now, the Ganko Marker. Check it out, guys. Slim, much, actually, I would say it's slimmer than the Sakura Solid. It doesn't have that goofy back end on it. Uh, very light, compact, excellent quality streak. And I love how the yellow in particular looks on dark surfaces. We'll play with that a little bit today. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with the review and uh, catch you guys at the break. All right, let's hit up my dude Sushi Boy from YouTube. What's up, Sushi? How you doing, Holmes? Oh my god, that's so sick. Oh my god. That's Garsh, baby. Don't you know about the Garsh? Mmm, delicious. All right, let's hit up my dude, Doke. You guys been telling me to check out Doke over at, uh, what's his art channel? I can't remember his name. He's on YouTube. But uh, he's doing some good stuff, man. Shout out to Doke, man. Good job. Oh, my dude, Ghost. Been watching you too, bud. Like what you got going on there. Keep making that content, Ghost. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the drip mop, guys, and I am grilling the hell out of this. Now, if you're a tagger, there really isn't a much better way to go than the basic drip mop. I mean, we basically, they've been around before us, but we really made them what they are. And this particular model right here is the best one in the game. I'm telling you, there's no mop better than this for street tag. It fits in your pocket perfectly. Uh, it holds a decent amount of ink. You get some really great writes out of it. The nib is extremely durable, and you have hardly any issues with the nib tearing. That's not to say it will not happen. It does happen sometimes. Uh, if you're going to tag on bricks, that's your fault, okay? But on a smooth surface, most surfaces, it tends to do quite well. And as you see, the drips, the lines are fantastic. All right, let's hit up a few more. Got my dude Goat Graph. Maybe he's the greatest of all time. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe he just likes goats. Either way, cool name, Fen909. Now, I used to know a guy that wrote Fen. He's still around, I just haven't seen him in a while. But I think this is a different Fen, because he's not from the 909. Nevertheless, what's up, Fen909? There you go, there you go. All right, sick. So that was the drip mop. And up next is the hit and go marker. This is the Art Primo hit and go marker. What we have here is a valve actuator. See this? It's got a valve in there. That way you can get the ink flowing with a few pumps of the nib. It's 15 millimeters strong. It has a wonderful, wonderful chisel nib, which is very common in a lot of markers these days. Also, you can hit it from the rear, baby. You got a rear action feeling capability. You haven't seen this in a while, have you? Just take it. You take your own uh, quarter or. or uh, whatever you want, whatever you got, whatever currency you got in your country, that quarter size currency, unscrew this bad boy, and you are able to refill without taking apart the valve portion of this marker. Much easier than any other 15 millimeter marker I've seen. And I gotta tell you, the quality of this is fantastic. It's definitely on the same level, if not better, than the Molotov 15 millimeter markers. That's right, I said it. Same quality, if not better. It's very durable, the, the canister is very thick, it's, I mean, you can put some pretty heavy duty stuff. I got Garvey, I got Speed Flow, and I got Covers All, all mixed together in this marker right now. So let's go try it out. Right, let's be a graffiti butthead and tag on this piece. Remember, this is the 15 millimeter marker, and I gotta tell you, 
it is fantastic. Going a little heavy on the nib, and again, this is speed flow mixed with covers all, so it will come out pretty fast. So just keep that in mind. If you're using a thicker paint formula, it probably won't drip as much, but that is the nature of these extremely, extremely drippy inks. And as you can see, I also kind of push in on the valve as I write with it. All right, what was the other guy who wrote? Goal? Yeah, big goal in the house. Goal! My dude, Sushi Boy. Oh, that's dirty. You know I like the drips, guys. This speed flow mixed with the covers all in here is phenomenal. You can create some dirty, grimy, just drippy tags like a madman. I love it. I love it. I love it. My homie Goat Graph. I'm going to try it without pushing in too hard. This is just regular writing here. See that? That's just my regular writing like that. But if you want to get crazy, <laughs> you can do it. You can definitely do it. You can be a madman with it. Let's hit up my dude Stefan. And up next is the Ganko Marker. Let's hit up my dude Jabin Ho on YouTube. Uh, forgive me if I misspell it, brother. He's got the, uh, oh, what is it? Um, sorry, hold on one second. Let me think about this. <laughs> sorry, it took a second for it to get out. What's up, Jabin Ho? I don't remember which Pokemon you had. I don't think it was Charizard. It was something else. So let's hit up my dude Atomic. Catfish. Always commented on YouTube, part of my note squad. What's up, Tom and Catfish? Thank you for following us on the YouTube. I really appreciate that. All right, let's hit up my dude Ferris on YouTube. What's up, Ferris? How you doing? Bueller. Hope I spelled that right. Probably didn't. Big Ferris Bueller. Oh, my dude Yanko. What's up, Yanko? You rhyme with Genko. But you already knew that. You already knew that. All right, I'm loving these Genko markers. Let's catch a few more tags here. Got to hit up my dude, Caesar. What's up, Caesar? How you doing? There we go. You get a little, you get a little halo because you're an angel, Caesar. You're a little angel. Oh, Angel Sanchez wants to hit off. All right, Angel. You're a real angel, aren't you? Big Angel. What's up, Angel Sanchez? There's your hit off right there, brother. All right, let's catch one more tag with the Ganko marker. Rip the Jacker. R.I.P. The Jacker. With the little thing. Like that. Woo! Oh, let's give him a little clap. Oh! Needs more wood dog. Needs more uh needs more screw action. There we go. Yeah. Now that's hip hop. Up next is the press and go marker. Look at look how look how much <clears throat> can I just stop really quick? Just how how much have we gotten done with just those sm small amount of markers that we have? We haven't even really burnt them up. So imagine if you're out there writing on the street. I mean, we got this PC wall right here that was like imitating a graffiti wall. We had the, the buff wall, and now we're gonna be hitting on the grilled bathroom style shit. And we got the press and go for that. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Remember guys, we got Garsh. This has Garsh in it. It's Garvey and Marsh. It's basically three quarters Marsh and a little bit, about a quarter of Garvey. Maybe a little bit more Marsh than that. Not that much Garvey. When you're feeling Garvey these things, don't use too much. It'll become way too drippy and unmanageable. Also, you're wasting the Garvey. A dab will do, you guys. Don't ever exceed a quarter in there. Well, you could. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But I'm just telling you, if you want to save your money and have the same effect, don't ever put more than a quarter of Garvey in there. You'll be just fine. You'll get all the staining you need, all the stuff you got to do. All right, let's catch a tag. This is going to be <laughs> hard to do. My dude, Pickle Shoe. Oh, my God. Pick Pickle Shoe. <laughs> What a weird name. Oh no, I put Pickle Show. Sorry, Pickle Shoe. Let me get a mulligan on that one. There we go. 
There we go. You get pickle so shoe. <laughs> well, how could I forget, my dude? Mr. Triple will commenter. Mr. Bass Boost. Mr. Bass Boost. There we go. Beautiful. Let's hit up my guy, society is a joke. Society is a joke. He's always got some great comments. We've had some excellent banter together. All right, there's the press and go right there. Great combination. Let's hit up one more guy. All right, let's hit up my homie Knock. Knock CZ, Knock CZ. I guess he's Czech. He's hitting up CZ. So he can side bust my buddy Seagun from Ostrava right here. He's also Czech. We'll do another tag right here. Alright guys, that was sick. I had a lot of fun doing that. There you go, four markers for $14.46 with the $4.99 shipping gets it to your door for $19.45. This is a whole night's worth of fun for less than 20 bucks. Alright, sick. So there you go, we have the Art Primo Drip Mop, we have the Art Primo Hit and Go 15mm, we have the Genko Streaker, and we have the Art Primo Press and Go Marker. These are my first choice out of the $20 kit that I made. I'm going to be making more, but right now, if it were me to go outside and go out for a night of fun, these would be the four markers I would pick. You could also go with the AP Solid or a Hobo. You could go with a Presto if you wanted to. You could go with another Jumbo. You could go with another Mop. But for me, this is my go-to right now. And this is my recommendation, and this is Green Ranger signing out. So remember, anytime you need graph supplies, anytime you need graph supplies, anytime you need art supplies, anytime you need street art supplies, anytime you just want to get funky, you just give us a call. 206-365-4083. Again, that's 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com, your number one source. See you guys later.